Hello everyone and welcome back to the podcast. As you can tell from the title, today's episode is about dark psychology and how to use it to become more desirable to your target. Dark psychology is the art of using motivation, persuasion and manipulation as tactics to coerce a person to do what you want. Many people in our society today use dark psychology all the time and it goes unnoticed most of the time. The reason for this is because of how persuasive they are. An example of this is people in power. They may manipulate the media in such a way to portray them in a certain light that will help further their political ambitions and make people like them. However, not only politicians use dog psychology. Anyone can use it to make a person or a select group of people desire them more. So the tips we're going to talk about today can be used whether or not you're single or you're in a relationship. For those who are single, you can use these tips to make your desired targets chase you and increase desire and make the talking stage or make the chase more exciting. For those of you in a relationship or in a committed situation, you can use these tips to help you strengthen the emotional bond you and your partner have. One way you can use dark psychology to increase desire is by creating an element of surprise and unpredictability. Doing the same thing every day can become boring easily. It becomes predictable once in a while you want to switch things up from your normal routine and add a bit of spontaneity. For example, people in relationships don't do the same boring moves in bed all the time, don't be a pillow princess, sometimes try a different position, explore other places outside the bedroom, go somewhere to do it where you've always wanted to, could be the beach, somewhere in a balcony, in the forest, wherever it might be, try something different and don't stick to the occasional bedroom sex. However, it's important to know that creating an element of surprise, it doesn't have to be sexual at all. For example, if you usually do date night once a month, instead of going to the same places and doing the same activities, try and switch it up sometimes. If you go on date nights, once every Thursday or the last Thursday of every month, create a random date night on the Friday and do something different. Try a cuisine you haven't done before. If you usually just go out to eat, do an activity this time. Doing things like this will help you switch up the routine and make things less boring and less predictable. So for people who are single, you can create an element of surprise During the talking stage, when you're getting to know your desired target, send them a message, say something like, oh, I have something exciting to show you later today, or I got something for you. Doing this will make them so excited and they will keep guessing you'll be on their mind the whole way until they see you. You want to keep things unpredictable because it makes the chase more exciting and it causes adrenaline for both of you because of the spontaneity and it's healthy for both you and your love interest. Another way you can increase desire and keep them hooked is by using flattery. This means complimenting them strategically. You want to compliment them on things you know that they're insecure about. When you do this, it will make them feel like the luckiest person alive. They'll be so happy that they're loved by somebody who loves parts of themselves that they don't even love. Other than flattery, vagueness is also key. Be vague when you speak about your future together. Leave them a little confused each time. This will put you in a position of power and your partner will start to believe that the future of the relationship is totally up to you. So now, to recap, Some ways you can use to create desire and attachment using dark psychology include practicing creating an element of surprise and unpredictability, giving strategic compliments and being vague 
about the future. Now that we've discussed some of the things that you should do, we're also going to discuss some of the things that you should avoid. Arguments. Arguing is the most anti-seductive thing that you could do. Instead of arguing, make your partner feel validated. Make them feel this way using words of affirmations. Avoid arguing and instead try to brighten up the mood when the environment or the atmosphere becomes tense. Another thing you should avoid is revealing your insecurities. You don't want your you don't want anyone to know what you're truly insecure about because one day they could use it against you and giving them that information is the same as giving them power over you. So avoid revealing your insecurities. As well as that, avoid exposing things that happened in the past. For example, an old relationship where you were treated badly by one of your exes, you want to make sure that you don't reveal this information because if you do, whoever you're currently with, they will slowly start to view you as weak and one day they will use the information that you gave against you. So this is it for now. These are just some tips on how to use dark psychology to create attachment and desire. If you enjoyed this and if you want a part two, leave a comment in this comment section below. But apart from that, if you want to learn more about dark psychology, the Enchantress Series 2 ebook linked in my bio is perfect for you. Thank you for listening.